What's up everyone? Welcome to YouTube Celebrity Gossip News where me and Tommy have some stories. Tommy, guess what? I have some news about American Idol. You know what's going on with American Idol? No, Chris. What's going on with American Idol? Um, they are having uh, additions at Walt Disney World. The reasons why they're having additions at Walt Disney World is because it's good promotion for Walt Disney World, and not only that. Okay, and the other reason is it's most cost efficient to various cities around and not only that basically grow the show and not only grow the show money is definitely a big issue with the show and so if you haven't heard tommy abc bought uh the american idol rights to the show for it to keep on going there is no sign of um there's no big news about ryan seacrest signing on to host it um and not only that um we don't even know if we're gonna get Simon Cowell, the original cast back, uh, Paul Abdul, and that um, we'll even get Randy uh, Jackson as well. So, so basically, uh, Fox is no longer uh, having American Idol. ABC has bought the rights, and uh, so yeah, it's, it could be interesting to see where it goes and who they get for the judges and stuff. Recently, in New York City, there's this thing called uh, uh, Front Week. Basically, where it's where businesses come from all over the country, uh, advertisers to uh, figure out who to advertise with on TV, as far as YouTube and stuff, as well as uh, a lot of big um, companies such as YouTube, Google, and ABC, NBC, uh, and all the big stations and stuff, showcasing their new shows uh, and what's coming up and what we can expect as far as uh, new shows and new things and new personalities. Well, part of this, YouTube had a thing called uh, Brandcast, where basically they were going to the advertisers and say, hey, we still want you to advertise with us, because you know with the whole, the whole adpocalypse thing, this is uh, one of the ways they could show, hey, we're really working on making the algorithm that says, okay, this video is not advertiser friendly where this video is advertiser friendly basically trying to make it so advertisers will come back to youtube and along with that so th there's that whole thing there's also q a with uh with youtubers and everything where they answered a lot of the questions that a lot of people have such as like i said earlier they talked about the algorithm and um and how things are going to be changing to make it to where ads can come back and hopefully everybody, you know, can uh, make the money. I understand there are videos that should not have advertisement whatsoever. So, and then in restricted mode, they're getting better and work getting to where, you know, videos that should not be, uh, that, you know, say a parent wants to have their kids only watch certain videos. Well, they're now making that to where videos that should not be blocked by restricted mode can be on there. There are okay for mature, uh, you know, non-mature audiences. So that's another thing they talked about. And then the last thing that came out of this is, uh, remember back when uh, YouTube uh, and Google were giving uh, people like Philip DeFranco, uh, Car uh, Carly, uh, Colette, and a bunch of other people who worked, for, uh, work at, worked at Makers at the time, and as well as um, many other big YouTubers to uh, sure, sure. produce, yeah. make new channels and stuff. That's where SourceFit came from. That's where the Mobs You came from. Well, they're doing it again with some big celebrities such as Ellen Generous, uh, Kevin Hart's gonna have a show, as well as some also some big YouTubers. Uh, the Slow Mo guys are gonna have a show. Uh, this is separate from YouTube Red. 
It's just premium content that advertisers could advertise on, uh, and it'll, go, it'll run for you know a period of time. Got it, got it. Well, that's a good thing. That's a really good thing. So more success, more things happen, more things happen behind the scenes and stuff like that. As far as you know, get it. Even if you're a celebrity, it still helps just because it represents. Uh, you as well in the company, you know what I'm saying? So vice versa, that's a really good thing that's happening. All right, so tell me, on another note, if you're in the Los Angeles area and you head down to Studio City, California, really close to uh, Universal Studios and close to um, a lot of different stores in uh, Studio City, so you could head to Armani Wells, Armani Wells, is where you can get some men's clothes, you can get shoes, pants, belts, etc., etc., etc. And uh, it's ran by none other than Claudia Wells. Yes, uh, Monty Wells uh, was started by Claudia Wells. Um, right. She basically loves to uh, help find men their perfect outfit. Right. So, like I said, if you're in the Studio City, California part and you're near Universal Studios if you're a big Back to the Future fan come on down and come to Armani Wells um, you see the number 818-985-5899 and if you want to order some stuff from Claudia online as well go to ArmaniWells.com um, basically we also have a Patreon page Patreon is a crowdsourcing uh, uh, site where you can uh, pledge money for perks such as thank yous, exclusive behind the scenes, see things before anyone else. That would help us out quite a bit. We'll put the links down on the description down below with our stories and we'll let you know more about what's going on with American Idol. Tommy will let you know more on what's going on with, on the YouTube side as well. So this has been a Next Level Productions. The channel takes you to the next level. All right, see you later, everyone. Peace out. Bye-bye.